Hey guys, Doug here again. Moving along with our little introduction to wood carving series. Today, we're going to be talking about how to keep your knife sharp. Sharpening your knife can become a very intimidating thing once you start looking around and seeing all the different systems there is and uh, just so many ways to sharpen your knife. So today, that's what we're looking at. The best part of today is for you is that all this stuff here we don't need. All we need is a basic strop. In its simplest form a strop is just a piece of leather glued to a piece of wood. It can be ugly and fat, tall and pretty, short and skinny, or even just a piece of leather on a flat surface. But the idea is a piece of leather that you can put in a compound whether that be red, green, yellow, white, whatever but think of the compound as the grit in your sandpaper that you're gonna just impregnate the leather with and then by using a controlled motion put the factory edge back on your knife removing all the little scratches and burrs and nicks so I thought what we should do before we get going whether you buy one or not let's just make one really quick and then uh, we'll go over how to use it properly and then we'll move into some other areas with uh, different contours of knives. I've got two pieces of uh, spalted maple left over from Sean's coat rack that I made them and these are 10 inches long so I think the leather is only going to be 8 inches I'm going to make it kind of without a hole in the end like that so let's just go and uh, put a mark here at an inch it's an inch and three quarters wide, so what's that? Seven eighths of an inch. All right. I'm just going to drill a little finger hole in there before we glue the leather on. The leather I'm using is uh, vegetable tan leather, and it comes in about five. I think this is five ounce. I have some heavier, eight, eight to ten ounce, but. This is good enough. It's about an eighth inch thick. And uh, it doesn't matter if you use an old belt or any other kind of leather, but I, I like the vegetable tan leather. Now, if this is my strop here, I'm going to put it on like so. So I wanted to, uh, I cut it about an eighth inch long. I'd rather trim it off after than to try and make it perfect. So all I'm going to do here is uh, take some contact cement. And again, glue is not what's important here today it's uh, you could probably get away with wood glue but I'm going to just going to glue this whole side here and with contact cement of course you have to wait till it gets tacky but like I said I'm going to use the rough side up not the smooth side in the past as you can see I've uh, always made my straps with a rough side up and a smooth side but to be honest, I rarely use the smooth side and I find that the rough side is enough, all right? So, I'm just going to glue this all up here and then uh, when it comes to tacking it down, uh, we'll come back. Once our glue is tacky, I'm just going to line up our line here. Just place her on the wood, all right? Be good and stuck. Take our knife, trim off the excess. Now we've got a strop. All right, it's like so. Now we don't have to be uh, complete animals. We can uh, <laughs> we'll put some oil on that and make it pretty. Couldn't let it go. Had to put some oil on them make them pretty. Now I got some oil on the edge of the leather and that is absolutely no problem whatsoever because some people like to condition the leather with some uh, mineral oil before they apply their uh, their compound but we're gonna skip that step but compounds compounds come in all different shapes and sizes and the color of the compound dictates the the grit okay I've never got too caught up with it. Flex cut makes it yellow. There's a there's red. 
green. You can buy a, a, a paste that you can paint on. This one's green. And uh, quite honestly, I don't think it really matters that much. I've uh, been using green because that's what was available. And this little piece here, I've probably been using it for about four or five years. So let's just load these up. And I find if I take a hair dryer and warm it up, I can get the, uh, the compound in more uniform and quicker. And I should be able to just rub it right in there nice and solid. Right. The first coat you want to get it on there real good and solid. That's oodles. You know when your knife needs sharpening, when it's not cutting like it did in the beginning. And a good test would be, just take a piece of end grain of wood, and just take a slice off the end grain. And that cut should be shiny smooth, clean as a whistle. All right, and this knife is sharp. Okay, but that's just, that's just, it almost feels polished, it's so shiny. Okay, so you're going to find, you're going to start getting little scratches in those cuts and little pulls and little tears, and that's when you know it's time to strop. If I'm carving a little man, I would always strop before I even start carving, and then sometimes midway, you know, you, you just gauge it by the way it's cutting, but, you know, if you're cutting for, you know, even a half hour, and it starts not cutting like it did time for a straw so I will add that there is no tool in that tool rack that has ever seen a sharpening stone of any kind just stropping and honing on the leather alright so if you're in doubt you've seen me cut ooh, lots of wood in the last couple years and uh, none of my carving knives have ever seen a sharpening stone so let's just go over some knives here. The Helvy knife is a, what they call a, be a flat grind knife with a bit of a bevel. So it's a, a perfectly flat grind, but the bottom is a bit of a, a convex blade, okay? You know, you know a Mora knife. Mora knife is a, how can I show you? Has a total secondary Scandinavian grind on it. So it has two planes. The cutting plane and then this the the strength okay so that's a scandy grind can you see that yeah, there you go I just got like an OCC tool a Mike Shipley knife and that is a complete flat grind and then the flex cuts kind of like a scandy it has a, a secondary bevel on it okay so all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our strop and let's get you in here closer. I'm going to take my knife, I'm going to lay it down here flat, and then I'm going to lift it till I find that angle. And then I'm going to go one way, I'm going to lift it straight up, turn around, and come back the other way. Straight up. The key is do not roll your knife. You end it and lift it. But what I do do is I go one way, say in the beginning, 10 times, go back this way. Another 10 times. Then I'll go this way 9 times. And then I'll go back this way 8 times. You know, and work all the way down. And then when I get to uh, down to 1 or 2, is I'll just go 1, 2, 1, 2, maybe another 10 times. But as you can see, people think of stropping as a, a, a finishing polish but that black on that blade is steel this is a, a method of sharpening and that's cutting the steel realigning all the little burrs and this little micro edges and stuff that happens to your knife so all the imperfections okay so we go over to our little block of wood here 
that's and again you can see that shine on there that's just a polished clean beautiful cut on end grain same with the helvy I know this helvy is sharp but with that micro bevel so I'm gonna lay it flat I'm just gonna lift it just a hair just so that the edge touches all right This is a, almost a relaxing thing, just as much as the carving is a, a good stropping. It also makes a nice polish on your knife too. But like I said, I already know this knife is sharp, but well, let's just give it a try anyway. Look at that. Gonna take your little more knife here same thing we're gonna lay it flat lift it till that angle is flat on the leather and then just go through the steps again up to 10 back the other way and look how that uh, leather is turning black so let's say you've let your knife go into total disrepair you should have stropped it a month ago and you keep using it all that means is that you're gonna have to spend more time doing this and going through the steps maybe instead of going to 10 you gotta do it 50 but once you get it where you like it then stay on it strop it even before you start all your projects midway if need be but this is the easiest way to maintain your knife but we also have our little v-tool here now this v-tool has two edges and it's the same same idea we're gonna find our angle and we're just gonna strop it we're gonna find do the other side if we've got a if depending on our V tool if our bottom is a little bit soft a little bit round then we can we can pull and we can roll it at the same time too all right and basically the same idea we'll go through all our steps maybe not as many as a knife but we have that problem now of the inner burr so we've pushed the steel over but we can't get the back side now flex cut makes a little strop like this where you can strop your your uh, gouges and whatnot and v tools and they also give you the little raised parts that you can actually put your compound on here and you can pull and get that inside burr off by pulling it over now we don't really need that let's find a good side here if we take a block of wood and make a nice cut in there with the v-tool and go right beside it again and do it again see that we've just created Maybe a little bit deeper. Once we find that angle there, we can put a little bit of the compound on there. It's a good time for that little brush. Okay. We got our little our little V cut there, and we can get that inside burr off just like that. Like I said, if you got gouges and whatnot, it might be worthwhile to pick up that flex cut. Same thing with the uh, those little remember those dockyard tools I showed you. They make their own miniature little uh, stropping block too. All right, and that's for doing both sides. You can run the uh, tools on the strop, get that edge. But if you only have a V tool. You might as well just make something like that and you can get that inside burr off and that's that is important okay and let's just see how that cuts see even just that little bit compared to the two cuts on this side that ripped see that okay 
an improvement already just in that little bit so it doesn't take much the key is just to stay on it so as far as uh, maintaining our basic little kit here I hope this helps uh, it's easy and it's uh, it's very worthwhile to stay on top of your tools. A dull knife is a dangerous knife and it's so simple. So strop for your knife, V-tool, strop, maybe make a little V-cut in a block of wood to get that inside burr out. But uh, yeah, with that stuff you're good for years. Now, like I said, we're keeping this basic. There is a, there is a place for this other stuff, but that's another time, another place. But for our basic series and maintaining our knives, I think uh, I think we got it. So, the next uh, what is it? Next video, we're gonna look at wood selection, and then after that, we'll get into the cuts. And uh, yeah, we're just moving right along in our series. So, hope this helps you out, and uh, I will catch you on the next video. See you guys.